Ryan here and we are currently on the road to Phoenix, Arizona. I'm with my buddy Tom. Say hi Tom. Hello. And we are going to go look at some animals. This is the entrance and they got themselves a little lake. Play little turtles and stuff in it. Wow. This is the glossy snake. You can see his little head right there. Beautiful. Tree frog. Canyon tree frog. Look at the colors on that tongue. Arizona Mountain King Snake. The rattlesnake. This is a twin spotted rattlesnake. He's just chilling. And this is a great basin rattlesnake. Yeah, I know he is. Look at him. Probably the biggest rattlesnake we've seen so far is the what, Grand Canyon rattlesnake, right? I'm not an expert on rattlesnakes, but dang, he is a big boy. This is an albino western diamondback rattlesnake. Look at that. I think longnose snakes are one of the cutest snakes out there. Look at this little dude. Aww. You are so cute. This is a weird example of rattlesnake cohabitation. Is it normal for them? Wow. You probably can't tell because it flaps her in, but this is a cobra. This is a snouted cobra. And he just laying there all cozy. So we went to the desert museum. We made content on the Gila monster. This is their cousin, the beaded lizard. So this one's actually the Rio Ferte. Mispronouncing that probably. <laughs> beaded lizard. Very similar, but the Gila monster is more bright orange. Really cool. Here's the sign for a banded gecko, but no sight of him. Santa Catalina rattlesnake. That's a viper. Saw scaled viper. Baja blue rock lizard. Hey, buddy. Digi skink. Oh wow! Look at them. They are so cool. Look at those little pine cone tails. Like deflated pine cones. You can kind of see it, but a black widow spider right here. Oh, no. oh I know. Look at that big dude. Right? <laughs> he, he barely fits in his water bowl. I love them. Scorpion. Look at him. Salamander. Oh, wow. Is that a tiger salamander? Looks like one. Yeah, it is. You're right. Found the bandit gecko. Hi, friend. I wish I can get a better shot of you, but you are very cute. Aww. This is the common chuckwalla. It looks a little darker than the one we got in the Desert Museum video, doesn't it, Tom? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Oh, and one. What's that? Oh, that's a um, spiny lizard. Yeah, little spiny lizard. Oh my god, what is he? He is so cute. Maybe? No. Brown snake. Look at them. I know. <gasps> so cute. Wow. <laughs> Did a little shake. <laughs> little prairie dog, yeah. Aww. The little owl. 
The little fat one where? Oh, wow. You little chubby. Aww. That's not a roadrunner. I think. That's not a road runner. If that's a road runner, that's the fattest road runner I've ever seen. Right? They probably feed them. <laughs> no, it's a zoo. Okay. They take care of their animals. Actually, you would hope. <laughs> Isn't that a, it kind of has a road runner face, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's not a road runner. Look at this little dude. <laughs> that is a really chunky road runner, though. Look at this little guy. It's like, why'd you wake me up, Gerald? <laughs> <laughs> So these are javelinas, or collar peccaries. We call them javelinas out here. These are found everywhere where we live, and sometimes they'll show up in your backyard, or they'll show up near your trash, and they can get, yeah, they can get very, very, very mean, and they have a strong scent if you get close to them. But right now they're just, <laughs> just pushing the other one over. Let me lick your belly. <laughs> That's kind of cute, actually. Just stay out of our trashes, dang it. <laughs> They're like the desert raccoons, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> this is a really cool sculpture, just big horns. It was done by a guy named Pat Matheson. Donated by LBA Realty. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, um, what kind of animal is this? Bobcat. What kind of bobcat? Mountain bobcat. What kind of mountain bobcat? I don't know. A chubby mountain bobcat. Chubby mountain bobcat. Huge tail. I know, that is a huge mountain lion. Let me get closer. Like whip you with that thing. I just stepped in mud. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Porcupine. Danger. Little burb. No matter where we go, it seems we can't escape the birds, huh, Tom? <laughs> they love us and we love them. This is the closest I have ever been to a wolf in my life. You think you could fight him? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> you think I could fight him? Hey, I mean, if the reward is petting him after, I'll do it. Probably anything. pet him during, Tom. Yeah. Like a climbing parrot. <laughs> You're a little talker. I know. Aww. I know now he's like twisting his head around too. I love parrots, <laughs> man. Look at that condor. Wow. His wingspan is probably the size of my chest. That's how big that bird is. Oh, wow. Look at him showing off. Jeez, it's like a raptor. I don't know why they say dinosaurs were related to birds or birds related to dinosaurs. I'm tired. <laughs> huge. I know. That is insane. America. <laughs> Bald eagle. It's gorgeous. Symbol of our country. You know, we almost chose the uh, turkey. It's our symbol of our country, because they're red, white, and blue. Of their chest, or their neck area, I think. I think we've made a better choice with the eagle. <laughs> that giraffe really is that far from us. They have a massive enclosure. Like, I'm not even zoomed out or anything. That is genuinely how far away that is. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Wow. It's insane. I've never seen a giraffe enclosure with this much space. It's awesome. At Reed Park, they just kind of wander around in circles. With just like a I know. Well, I mean, it's a decent, it's decent size, but it's really, compared to this. So they got this giant lake in the middle of the zoo. And like, you know what's funny about this? This lake in the middle of a zoo is bigger than some of the lakes that we have down in um, where we're from. I just find that hilarious. Like this is a actually pretty decent sized. And they're playing uh, the acoustic version of uh, If You Love Me, Let Me Go or something. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are actually. <laughs> We're just sitting here at the lake and my buddy Tom pointed out, because he loves monkeys, that there's a monkey over there. We're gonna get closer to it eventually, but that's just cool. We're sitting literally at the lake still. Look at him. He's just chilling. He may look like a statue, but this is a juvenile Komodo dragon. Dude, I literally made a video about these guys like a few days ago with like no thought process that I'd be coming here. And now here I am face to face with probably one of my favorite reptiles on the planet. This is awesome. Oh my God, you are so cool. I don't even need to see your daddy. You are awesome. He is huge. That's a baby. Oh my God. Very juvenile. That is a juvenile, yes. They're the biggest uh, lizard species on the planet. <sighs> Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh my gosh. Just to get like a scope of how big this is, he is probably about the size of my friend Tom, just a little smaller. That's how big this lizard is. Chinese alligator. Da 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 da. He just vibing. <laughs> wow, Tom. That's a peacock, right? No, maybe. Maybe like a relative. Maybe it's a peacock. No, because it's on the head. He grabbed his little thing and went. That's a peacock. The other one probably is a peacock, huh? Yeah, look at this one. <laughs> Do you feel that fly over you, Tom? Yeah. Got I a think gust. those are female peacocks. Um, I think you're right. And then I that's a male. Yeah, because of the colors. And you know what? I think you're right. I think that is a female peacock. Peahen. Cock is the, the male. <laughs> you can see him a lot better in person, but that's a hornbill. He was opening his mouth a minute ago. You gonna do it again? He's like, nah. I'm not gonna do tricks for you, human. So, it's a pigeon. It's a Victoria crowned pigeon. It looks like a peacock. That's the prettiest pigeon I've ever seen. That is the cutest little parrot. I don't know if you guys can see his little beady eyeball. Oh my God. Blue crowned hanging parrot. You are. Over here, over here. <gasps> hey, he's gone. It's okay. I saw him for a second. The camera didn't, but I did. We still got this little buddy over here, though. We circle all the way around to Monkey Island. Look at me scratching his armpit. Saying, buddy. <laughs> Gotta see your monkey, Tom. You happy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just hanging around. Got no neck. This dude just landed right no next to us. Neck having ass. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Get out of here. He's cute. Leave him alone. <laughs> this he doesn't have a neck though. Like, <laughs> he, just... he don't. He don't have a neck. He really don't have a neck. He's cool though. Sorry. Okay. He's just kind of foraging over there. Orangoo. Pokemon reference. <laughs> I got Warren Guru stuck in my head because we saw the orangutans and that's the first thing you said so now I'm just like, Pokemon. <laughs> we found a little friend as we're walking to the next area. He's so tiny. So they take a boat. There's an island over there where all the, uh, what are the gaboons? Uh, Whatever. Yeah, all the little monkey dudes that are over there. You can't kind of see him swinging. So we're like, how the heck they get over there? I was like, oh, they have a little house over there, so they probably go through like an old tunnel or something to get to them. No, they take a boat. <laughs> they have the monkey boat. They literally have a monkey boat. <laughs> the monkey boat. Sleepy boy. Maned wolf. Yeah, little places for them to sleep. That's cool. And he's just like, nope, I'm gonna sleep next to the log. <laughs> Look at that little tiny thing. Oh, Tom, what did you call him again? A 
rabbit donkeys. <laughs> little rabbit donkeys. <laughs> Cavies, or C-A-V-Y, I don't know how to pronounce it. How, do, how would you think you pronounce it? Cavies? Uh, Cavies? They almost yeah, look like, they look like miniature capybaras, don't they? Yeah. Kind of, like like rabbit legs. Look like capybaras with rabbit legs. Oh, whatever they are. They I wonder cute. if they're considered rodents. These? Cavies? Uh, they kind of look like capybaras in the face, I don't, don't know, they? I but I want to pet one. I know, I kind of do too. They have those like rodent faces. They they look like they look How many shrimp would you have to eat before it makes your skin turn pink? Eat too much and you'll get sick. Shrimp are pretty rich. Flamingos. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately we are now in South America. So the zoo video is gonna have to be put on hold for a second. Literally, it's like a little did a little self. American village. Colombia. Kind of cool. Macaw. Biting a stick. I absolutely love macaws, man. You know you're pretty, huh? He knows it. Oh, yeah. He's like, stop it. <laughs> Aww. Ah. <laughs> Tom, why don't you come look at our tarantula friend some more? The bird eater. He eats birds. Hopefully that eat our macaw friends. I got a sudden craving for Fruit Loops. Look at the boas. An example of good parenting. Yeah, that was pretty cute with the kid. Boa boa. Boa 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 boa. You guys remember what anime I'm referencing? Leave it in the comments. You guys get a brownie point. Amazon milk frogs. Probably some of the coolest looking frogs out there. Snake, look at the frog. Anoli. Snake, look at this frog. So this is the Suriname dwarf toad over here. And I actually used to have one of its cousins. Um, you probably see them in pet stores all the time, the African dwarf frogs. So this is a Suriname dwarf toad. But they're kind of similar, just one's a toad, one's a frog, one from Africa, one from Suriname. So, just cool to see something like this. Bye, Colombia. <laughs> just like we saw the scarlet macaw, now we are seeing the scarlet ibis. Tom, you remember that video the Australian guy made about the ibises? <laughs> I don't know if he was talking about these ones. These ones are a little prettier. Galapagos tortoise. The animal that got me to love tortoises. He's going inside for a bit. He gone. They literally have a farm. It's a goat. We are still on the farm and we can see the donkeys and the little horses. All kinds of stuff. It certainly smells like a donkey, huh? <laughs> oh, I like that smell. You little sweetheart, huh? Oh. Navajo churro, I think it's called. When I first saw this, I was like, it reminded me of that Iowa Manx, or Iowa Manx, Iowa Man one, the Manx uh, sheep. It also has four horns. I wonder why that happens. It's kind of cool. Wait, no, he has a split one on the right side. You have six, maybe? Six horns? Five, because you have the one split on the right and then the other side whole. They're cool looking. I know. That's a lot. <laughs> Look at that tongue. <laughs> Port hogs. Waiting for food. That is the cutest little fox. Oh, the pyramid on the hill is Hunt's tomb, the final resting place of Arizona's first state governor, 
George W. P. Hunt. Hunt is entombed with his wife, Duet, and five members of their extended family. There it is over there. Why a pyramid? He was inspired by the grandeur of the Pyramid of Giza while traveling abroad. Upon his death, he arranged to have their own pyramid built. And it's here in the zoo. Huh. That's an interesting. Look at him go. And by go, I mean just lay there majestically. <laughs> wow. Zebra. Or zebra. It's a zebra. Zebra. I'm calling it zebra. They invented the language, okay? They get to name things. No? No? Zebra? Okay. You're gonna offend anybody watching who's British. <laughs> like if they're watching this, you'd be like, bit rude, isn't it? Bit rude. Go to another channel. <laughs> no. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.